I want to simplify some expressions that involve radicals. And the first one I have up here is 3 square root 5 over 6. I want to remind you that 3 square root 5 isn't just one expression by itself. It's 3 times the square root of 5. So this is multiplication between these two expressions. Now I want to simplify this by reducing to lowest terms. And the only way to reduce to lowest terms is to divide out common factors. So I'm going to write this in factored form. 3 times square root 5, just so you can see that that's multiplication, divided by 6, which is 3 times 2. Now I can see that there's a factor common to the numerator and denominator. I can divide that out, and I end up with square root 5 divided by 2. So the answer to that problem is square root 5 divided by 2. This step right here, um, you can kind of do in your head if you want. This is kind of a thinking step right here. And what you're saying is there's a 3 common to the numerator and denominator, a factor of 3 common. And so you divide that out. What's left in the numerator is square root 5, and what's left in the denominator is 2. This is a similar problem, 4 square root 2 divided by 2. So I'm going to factor the numerator here and write this as 2 times 2 square root 2, all divided by 2. And again, I can see the factor I have common to the numerator and denominator. I divide that out, and I end up with just 2 square root 2 for that answer. And if you want, again, this is kind of a thinking step right here. Maybe you don't show this step every time, but you think to yourself, well, look, I have a factor of 2 common to the numerator and denominator. When I divide the numerator by 2, I end up with 2 square root 2. When I divide the denominator by 2, I end up with 1, which just gives me, I can write it like this without that denominator of 1. Okay, now here I have a sum in the numerator. Okay, so the first thing I want to notice is I cannot divide this 4 into this 4. That's not going to work. I can only divide out common factors. So I need to factor the numerator, which I'm going to do. Looks like there's a 2 common to each term. I'll factor that out. What's left is 2 plus 3 square root 3, all divided by 4, which I'm going to write as 2 times 2. So I have this factor and this factor in the numerator, and this factor and this factor in the denominator. So I'll divide out that common factor of 2 and write down what's left, 2 plus 3 square root 3, all divided by 2. So there's my answer to that problem right there. And that's a simpler version of this because I've divided out the common factor 2 that appears in the numerator and denominator. Now, in this case, I would show this step right here, especially if you're taking a test or a quiz. You want the instructor to know that you factored that 2 out of the numerator, and then you divided, uh, divided out the factor that was common to the numerator and denominator, and that's how you got your answer. just want to point out the most common mistake for people that are having a little trouble with this on this problem right here is to simply divide the 4s out and get 1 plus 6 square root 3. You can try that on a calculator. Whatever you want It's just not going to work. That's not the answer to that problem. Okay, similar problem right here. Looks like we have a 5 common to the numerator and denominator. Let's factor the 5 out of the numerator. And what I get when I factor 5 from these two terms is 2 plus square root 6. In the denominator, I just have that factor of 5. Now I'll divide the common factor out, and what's left is... 2 plus square root 6. And again, I would show this step right here. Now, you might be looking at this and say, gee, I'd rather do that by division. That's okay if you want to do that. This can also be a division problem where you say this is going to be 10 divided by 5 and also 5 square root 6 divided by 5. As long as you divide both terms in the numerator by that 5, you're going to be okay. Up here, this common mistake, it's a mistake because I've only divided this term by 4 and not this term also. That long fraction bar there means that both these terms are divided by 4. Okay, and you can see if I do this, what's 10 divided by 5? 2. And then what's 5 square root 6 divided by 5? Those 5's divide out, and I end up with square root 6. So I get the same answer whether I look at this as factoring the numerator and dividing out common factors, or I look at it as a division problem where I divide both terms by the number 5. I end up with this right here. So just to look at some of the simplification that goes on when you have some fractions that involve radicals.